from the west side by the track spot, yeah. And when she come around me, please no bad vibes, miss a bad lies, yeah. And I ain't never let you, this a bad time, I'ma let down, yeah. White chick stuck in my head. Oh, y'all, look at my husband. But he looks so nice. Hey, how's it going? We make a cute couple. Yeah, we fine, ain't we? Don't kiss my good skin. It's too popping for you. Say no, no, look at his haircut. His haircut is so fire. Did a good job. Drop it and all. I'm playing. <laughs> no, I'm not playing. He feeling himself too much. I was really But am. yeah, so we can break out the door and I will update you guys. Probably when we get to the movies or probably after my song stuck in my head. Don't play with it, don't play with it. My screen. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. It's giving good skin. Is that your real hair? Is that your man? Yes, it is. That's what it's giving right now. The one and only. Like a. Banks at a hotel, whatever. We are downstairs at the bar. Hey, how's it going? I got margarita. But yeah, we were just chilling for real. We um, went to Outback. A little hiccup with the movie. Okay. So we were supposed to be going to go see Scream 6, right? But for some reason, they sold the tickets to us. Like, we bought these tickets like two weeks ago. And they ended up having like a event at the same night. So basically, we ended up getting in, and of course, not being able to get in because we're not like a part of the, the special event. They had to end up basically reimbursing our money for the tickets. But I wanted to, man, because the the general manager was really nice. He ended up giving us two free tickets for any movie we want to see, and the tickets is good forever. So if like we want to go see something tomorrow, we could. So hopefully, that's the plan because we have tickets to the aquarium tomorrow. So hopefully. It'll work out way so we can go to the movies afterwards, but we'll see. But yeah, I'll update you guys in a little while. What's up, guys? So I know I probably haven't updated you guys since last night, but it is. I want to say today is Saturday, but it's not really Saturday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. So we had breakfast this morning. We got dressed. Got about, you know, got about, I went to Sephora. I got some good stuff. Yo, I cannot wait to use the foundation that I got. Excited. Just stopped in CVS to get an umbrella because it started drizzling. And even though I'm not really too hyped about my hair or whatever, like, oh my God, I don't want my hair to get wet. I think I really don't care, but it's kind of like I still don't want my face to get wet because the, the beat is giving. Oh, this beat was two minutes, see, two minutes, two minute beat. Okay, so we're gonna go to Starbucks because the movie don't start until 1 15. So we're gonna go to Starbucks, get something to drink, probably chill out for a minute, charge our phones, use the bathroom, and then go to the movie and go see Screen Sex. And then we gotta go to the aquarium. So Aquarium is not until 5, but we still should have enough time to get from here to the aquarium and all that. So, BRB, huh? So, y'all, they gave us a theater by ourselves. We, we exclusive. But, um, yeah, we can already watch the movies. And we'll catch y'all later. Say bye, matey. Bye, love y'all. our movie the storyline was amazing i feel like they definitely did their thing with the whole screen franchise thing it was good um but we are at the aquarium waiting for our time um our tickets were for five o'clock so 
that's why we're waiting and um yeah we went to lucky's and got well i got oreo oreo and um oreo and coffee <laughs> the little baby looking at us i got oreo and coffee i got a tall because we was gonna go to dinner afterwards so i don't want to spoil my appetite and then babe what you get this is the cookie monster okay look at your lips like a little kid <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so we're just waiting till five o'clock. It's actually not cold out here. Um, it's, a chilly. it's a little chilly, but y'all know I'm a, I'm I love the cold. So yes, does. we walked over to Lucky's, and then we got milkshakes and stuff like that. And now we're back, and it's like four thirty. So we're just gonna wait. I got a piece of hair on my lip. We're just gonna wait for the time and go into the aquarium. I y'all, I have not been to the aquarium probably since. Uh, it definitely it's been over a decade for both of us oh hell yeah well over well, a decade yeah. because let me tell you something the last time i went to the aquarium i think my stepfather was with us and we was like on a field trip or something so my stepfather has been passed away since 2006 so i know for a fact it's been years and probably even before that it was probably like since i was like in elementary school and i've been out of high school for 10 years now don't, don't get on me y'all yes but yeah so we're just gonna wait for the time to pass and then um yeah we'll check you guys later i'm a mess i swear to god <laughs> once we got back to the house but <laughs> you know as you can see i'm still out and about so we did end up going home and then mommy ended up calling us and was like yo i'm at ihop don't y'all want to meet me so we went down ihop and met her and we just chilled with her for a little while and then she went and got her eyeglasses so i didn't even know she had an eyeglass appointment on a saturday i guess because i go to a specialist i didn't realize that they do have appointments on saturdays at like walmart and stuff like that 
<sighs> so she went to her eye doctor appointment. Of course, she come back home. I was like trying. I was in the house. I changed my clothes. As you can see, I jumped in my pretty little thing, my favorite sweatshirt, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. By the way, this is not sponsored or anything. If you're a plus size girl, and I know some people be buying stuff from Fashion Nova and all these stores, but even like Fashion Nova and stuff like that, I still feel like they don't make things for plus size girls that are still oversized. We like baggy and comfortable clothes just as much as we like a little tight little mini dress. Pretty little thing, y'all, is the truth. Like, I love their sweat clothes. I love their sweatpants, their sweatshirts, like all that. My matter of fact, my my sweatpants I have on. I'm gonna um, do a little, show y'all a picture of them. But um, I have a lot of pretty little thing clothes. And comment down below if you guys want a pretty little thing um, plus size clothing haul because I have a lot of pretty little thing clothes, like sweat clothes, sweatpants, joggers. Um, I have dresses from them. I have so many things from them between Pretty Little Thing and Rep Doll. They the truth. They really do like they they the truth on real authentic plus size clothing and at a good price because a lot of my sweatshirts and stuff like that be under 20 bucks. Really comfortable, really cute. Plus size clothing. But anyway, so I jumped in my sweatpants, I jumped in my favorite sweatshirt, and I was just like on the sofa as you guys can see i look bummy as fuck hair don't even look like it's been touched um i might go back to the house and probably do something with my hair because like my install is still fresh but it's just like i've just been laying around on it and stuff like that i really don't care um my house this house situation is mentally draining me because every day i go downstairs and there's something new going on or something like that it realistically is draining me um so going back home today i really didn't want to go back home but you know the good thing about going to breakfast with mommy and well not really breakfast but the good thing about hanging out with mommy today was we both agree it's mentally draining and it's annoying us now um i did want to edit some footage tonight from this weekend so i think that's what i'm gonna do when i go back home but now, of course my mommy wants to be a big baby because i spoiled her to death She's like, you was with your husband all weekend, so you don't want to spend no time with your mother. So, because I did tell her, I ain't going to lie to you. I promised her when I came home Saturday, because I'm off for four days. So I spent Thursday and Friday uh, with Maddie. I was like, oh, my four days off. I was in town with Matt, and then I'm going to spend time with her. So, I was like, on Saturday, we can go look at houses, and we can go, like, hang out or whatever. What I didn't remind myself is that we walked around the aquarium yesterday and that is very exhausting and I'm very sleepy. So I ended up not taking a nap, but my mommy dragged me outside. So I don't know where we're going, but we're doing something. St. Patrick's Day is in full effect. These people out here are sucking down oysters. <laughs> all right guys so this weekend is coming to a close i think i'm gonna end this vlog now because just because I told y'all we have a lot going on as you can see here i'm sitting here organizing all this makeup stuff um all this stuff up here i have so much stuff to organize um i've gotten like pr packages in the mail that i need to um do um do content for so i need to organize all this stuff and just get it cleaned up i'm really my idea realistically is to basically like throw a lot of stuff away because I'm so over like yo I had so many lip pencils and makeup stuff in here this is all I got now of lip pencils when y'all see my lip glosses and like my nudes and all that kind of stuff y'all a lot of this stuff was either one expired two I didn't like it three just never got to it never used it so I made three boxes one for a very close friend of mine i'm giving her some stuff 
um, two for donation and then two, three for trash. Some stuff that if I if I use it or something like that, like lip glosses and stuff like that, if it can be wiped off and donated, that's fine. Um, but if it's like been used, used, it's going to trash. I'm sorry, I'm not donating that. But stuff that I just get in like in the mail, like PR packages and stuff like that, that I just never get around to using, or I don't like the brand or something like that, and they still send me stuff. I'm just gonna give it away. So that's what is going on. I did want to show you guys what I got from um Sephora yesterday. Uh, I actually just opened it because I wanted to make sure I really liked it, the color before I settle with it, and I really do. This is the House Labs, the Lady Gaga Foundation. Y'all, I keep seeing so many people talk about this. Um, I don't think I have my receipt, but oh yeah, I do. This foundation was. I got some points. But this foundation was $40, 45 dollars. This foundation is forty five dollars. Um, it's the Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. It's the House Labs one. I got it in the color um medium deep cool. So this is four seventy. I think this is gonna be a really perfect match. I'm gonna tell you why I think so. Because my um my foundation through the sephora brand i think it's a little bit darker than this and i feel like sometimes when i wear that and it's like sometimes it's a little bit too dark so i think i got this in the perfect shade i think this is like the perfect perfect shade so i cannot wait to wear this i might do like a comment down below if y'all want, want me to try it on camera first um which i probably won't try it on camera first i don't know it depends I don't know y'all want to see a makeup tutorial i have a lot of a lot of brand new skin care stuff i've been using i've changed my skincare routine um i've changed my makeup routine around i do a lot of different things now it, i really just wanted to go to sephora for house labs i've seen everybody talk about the house labs foundation everything else is like simple i'm trying to think whatever makeup products i've picked up that's like new Nothing really new, new. I think, um, I really want to go, I really was going to get the Quickie Concealer. I really should have got it, but I didn't, wasn't even thinking about it when I was in there. But they have a savings event, so, you know, your girl's going. They have a whole bunch of stuff that's going to be on sale. Um, but yeah, that's really pretty much it. I'm just sitting up here organizing. Maddie's over here eating. Three of salad eating a salad i got a chicken salad sandwich um so realistically i go back to work on monday so i have all day rest of the night tonight and tomorrow to really organize the way i want to organize so it just depends right now i'm about to take another break because i don't know why y'all i'm just i feel really exhausted like just sleepy so I'm going to clean all this up. Y'all probably have seen this in a different vlog. I think I'm going to vlog Wednesday. I got my first session for my teeth on Wednesday. My first session for my teeth is Wednesday, right? Or the Thursday. I think it's Thursday. So my first session for my teeth is Thursday morning, I believe, at 8 a.m. Um, so I got some of a vlog bed and stuff like that. But I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Maddie loves you guys, even though his mouth is full. We had a great Bye, weekend. Um, that was just grind time. Grind, good time. We actually, so yeah, we actually looked at a couple houses today. And here's Mommy Ghetto. Say hi, Mommy. Hi. How are you? Your boots are on fire tonight. Why would you take my drink? <laughs> but, Ma, half and half. Half and half. What are you talking about? But anyway, guys, we love you guys so, so much. I guess the whole family is here. Going to close out this vlog. Um, make sure you comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Join the family. Make sure you follow us on all our social medias. Follow Maddie on his TikTok because you know he be TikToking. They will be in the description box below. Um, stay tuned all for all the new content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Say bye, guys. Bye. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.